You probably know him as Nate Jacobs on the hit HBO drama Euphoria where he plays a jock and usually a bully, yet somehow still a heartthrob. Or even from the Netflix franchise of movies The Kissing Booth. In real life, Jacob Elordi isn't your usual all-American teen like his characters portray. He actually hails from Australia. You might love to hate him on Euphoria, but it seems like only the start of his successful acting career. So if you want to learn more about the story and life of Jacob Elordi, then stay tuned because we'll get into all of that and more here for you on Famous Life. Jacob Elordi was born on June 26, 1997 in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia to parents John and Melissa Elordi, and he has three older sisters. He attended high school at St. Kevin's College in Melbourne and later on Nudgee College in Brisbane. Jacob was fascinated with the world of acting since childhood and began acting during his years in school, participating in many stage shows. One of his first projects where he began to act professionally was a musical called Susicle where he played the cat in the hat and sang for his part too. As he grew up, his love for the craft intensified and he was highly inspired by Heath Ledger, the late Australian actor who had already made quite the mark in Hollywood. In 2017, Jacob made his debut on the big screen with a small uncredited role in the film Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, alongside Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom, which was also his first experience in a Hollywood movie set. While Jacob only has a small role as a St. Martin's Marine, once you spot him, you can't miss him. In 2018, Jacob made his full-fledged acting debut in the comedy drama film Swinging Safari, where he played the character Rooster, acting alongside Australian legends Guy Pearce and Kylie Minogue. However, his life wouldn't change until he appeared as Noah Flynn in the Netflix teen movie The Kissing Booth in May 2018, which would be super successful and spawn a further two films. He reprised the role of Noah in the sequel The Kissing Booth 2, which filmed in mid-2019 in Cape Town and was released in July 2020. Jacob also starred in the third film of the franchise, The Kissing Booth 3, which was released on Netflix on August 11, 2021. In fact, The Kissing Booth was Jacob's 103rd audition filmed against a blue sheet on the garage wall at his home. He said about scoring the role of Noah, I'll never forget the day I got the call saying I got the part. It was a Saturday and I was walking through Westfield Kermside. I could see it was a conference call with about five managers. They always told me that meant either really good or really bad news. When they told me I got the part, I collapsed and I just started crying. It meant a whole lot. At that point, Jacob was ready to leave Australia. His mother admitted that his American accent was perfect since he was only 10 years old and he was 12 when they realized he had serious talent during his part in the Seussical musical. After The Kissing Booth was a hit, Elordi's IMDb rating blew up, he gained 6 million followers on Instagram and he would soon be begged for selfies with strangers everywhere he went. But that first taste of fame wasn't all glitz and glamour. He explained, It was one of my first movies and your money runs out pretty quickly in Los Angeles. I had my mom and dad making sure I was eating and I had a lot of support from friends, so I was very lucky. I was never down and out, but in terms of America, I was done. Jacob didn't entirely give up hope though, and it ended up working out for him. Towards the end of his time spent couch surfing and in cars, he auditioned for a role in a new HBO drama created by American screenwriter and director Sam Levinson, saying, I knew from the moment I auditioned that the content was going to be good because Sam's writing is so impressive. I didn't know if people would respond to it or not, but I knew it was something I wanted to play and that world was something I wanted to live in. That show was of course Euphoria, where Jacob would star alongside Zendaya and other talented young actors. Centered around Zendaya's character Rue, a 17-year-old recovering drug addict and her circle of diverse friends and fellow high schoolers, among them, Jacob's character Nate was the cool, handsome jock. On the surface, Nate Jacob seems to be the perfect all-American teen, but behind the scenes, he struggles with his identity and anger and has a volatile relationship with his father. Jacob delivers a powerful performance, all the more so because it feels like such a departure for him as an actor. In terms of his inspirations, Jacob credits modern Hollywood actors and old school stars. He has said he's obsessed with actors in general and seeing them work, notably fascinated with Michael Fassbender and Ryan Gosling. 
He also said as I watched more movies, it was Marlon Brando and James Dean. After that, it was Montgomery Clift. I think all young men who want to act have that period of falling in love with those actors. I'm also a huge fan of James Franco as an artist, even down to someone like Nicolas Cage. I find that so many actors are doing something interesting most of the time. And we also know he's a massive Heath Ledger fan. Aside from his acting gigs, Jacob secured his sex symbol credentials already after modeling for Calvin Klein in their hashtag MyCalvins campaign alongside other big stars, which include Naomi Campbell, Bella Hadid, and more. He's also a talented photographer. If you check out his Instagram, you will no doubt see some of his work, which seems to be a big hobby of his. Well, it seems that Jacob Elordi has really been showing his true talent when it comes to his role as Nate on Euphoria, and it's definitely only the beginning of his Hollywood journey. We can't wait to see what he'll be up to next. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.